Hi guys, it's Ross. Hope you're having a great day. Um, this is the review of my camera that I've been promising you for a very, very long time. Um, I thought that I'd get a bit of experience with it outside um, and inside in low light conditions and dark conditions in the cold weather. Um, and this is basically my summary of all the tests I've done. Right, so as you can see, I mean, it's not a particularly, I mean, look, the sun, the sun's going down, just over there, actually looks really nice, anyway, the sun's going down, um, so it's not particularly bright light, I mean, it actually makes the sky look bluer than it is, and it also makes the grass look bluer than it is, in dark conditions, in the light seem the picture seems to get quite pixelated um, now the camera in itself is very good it's waterproof up to three meters and it's also shockproof up to one and a half meters um, so all in all it's a very very good camera it's very also very lightweight I think it's, pro it's probably about what three inches tall and about an inch three quarters wide maybe two inches wide um, if I just try and show you the zoom the zoom is also quite good especially since these aren't brilliant light conditions in the bush it does look slightly hazy let me just clean the yeah it still looks pretty hazy um, Yeah, it's hard to show detail. I don't know if we try another plant. See, look, that one, you can see the detail very well on that. I think it's because there's not much foliage. I think when there's sort of a lot of bushes, it seems to turn into more of a block colour. Um, but yeah. So, that is basically it to be honest I mean what I've got at the moment of the camera it's a very very good camera um, in cold weather conditions it's worth keeping it warm because the battery does run quite low that's only if it's really really cold though if you go onto the internet and look at the uh, battery what it says about the battery life one of the bad bad negative things it says is that the battery isn't brilliant but to be honest I've had absolutely no problem with the battery one problem I have had though is in the sides of the camera there's a thing that you flip up and there's a little thing that you can push in with a paper clip or a safety pin and what it shows you well no what it shows what not what it shows you what it does is it resets it back to factory settings and what I've had to do that a couple of times when it's frozen I've had to put it back to um, factory settings um, plane up there let me see if I can get it it's really small obviously just a small sort of private plane but yeah so all in all what I've done so far the zoom's quite good the zoom's nice and smooth unlike my old camera where it's quite clunky um, and I mean if I'm moving this about in my hand it doesn't make that much noise um, any noise it is making is a tripod and it also seems to I mean I'm shaking this really hard now and I don't think it's looking that bad I mean I'm probably shaking it like this on the footage and it seems to stabilise quite well. Um, it may be because I'm holding it on a tripod and also if I get up and walk with it, just went down a step, if I get up and walk over to the shed in it, it does seem to do it quite well. Um, now I'm just going to try a steady cam trick though heard of right just sort of track legs but yeah so what I've seen of this camera so far it does seem to be I'm not trying it out now but like, it does seem to be a very very good camera um, yeah I'm trying to get some kind of 
Rivera and shot down here just to see what I can do. Well, if I. Well, let me just. I'll try this one first. But yeah, the, it, it's the Kodak Placeport ZX5. And. does seem to be doing a very very good job and now for my next trick <laughs> I feel like a magician and then now for my next chip trick to see how high up I can But yeah, so this is my review of the Kodak ZX5. I've only got it on one tripod leg now, so it's not really balancing very well. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Oh, I still haven't tried out the steady cam. Let me just quickly do that before I come off. I think I've talked enough. But um, the interface is very, very easy to use. I'm trying to use the steady cam thing now. So if I just get up, if I walk along to the... Up step. Down step. My garden isn't exactly flat, it's reasonably flat, but still. Just, if you're interested, those are my potatoes. Still not much happening. That is what I'll show you, that's just uh, the top's just, I mixed a tiny tiny amount of sand because potatoes are supposed to go reasonably well in sand. But anyway, yeah, so this is my review of the Kodak ZX5, thought I'd get some um, good footage with it first, do some nice testing. Uh, thanks for watching.